Joe, Jack Graham. Yeah, now. Joe, 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 Jack Graham. Yeah. This is what ATL in New York sound like. Let's go. Y'all hating ass niggas, I see ya. Joe, get busy, that's why I got the crown. Yeah. Hate in the air. You clowns, I see the envy that you breathe, jealousy. What you need is your own damn hustle. Stop worrying about mine. Nigga, I'm popping cause I put in time. Came out modeling, camera in hand. Still get busy with the mic in hand. Streets pulled out, niggas got sprayed. Niggas turn on you when they see you get paid. The intimidation in your face. Where's the love? What's taking place? You want my gold and my ducats. Cause my money overflowing out of buckets. Shot them in public, made people holler. Scar on his face for the money and the power. I'm the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the The game at me fool got in was young So talent made you rich, damn was dumb More to make, cake from crumbs You gotta be sweet, G or native tongue My heartbeat went into overload When Larry tried to turn me into a mole Told me show my curly to the CEO I didn't think it's funny so his jaw hit the floor And grabbed that chair that broke his back then realize that's a hate attack Harassment comes assault, you in the maze No way out, like Puff and Mace Touch me, tease me, I catch a case Nigga, you ain't straight as your poker face Father Law God, in that game I fold This sun don't tick, demon time don't hold I'm the Choker Choker the truth in the industry made me the choker. 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 The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. On the ones and twos, Chosa. what y'all want to do? I'm here now. See the wall, stand up. Shout out to the bomb squad. And the palms of dealers and fiends Late night roam the streets Weed is weaker, but it's cheaper Not many chicks Frontin' like divas Out west, every chick's a model like Eva And you know I'm far from believing her So I'm g her like she g and me Banging in L.A. is a different thing At the end, you either dead on the bang Getting out, doing better things On sunset, where they hang Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here, it's the same. No matter where you go, you'll find a lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees the souls you think. East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, grab your glasses, take a toast, if you rep East Coast. When I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing, don't offer me coke, all your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things, thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang. I won't judge you, leave me as I came, on the road to success, top of the game. Eat all the finer things in the food chain, teach my kids to do the same, whether Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. 
Grab your glasses, take a toast If you rep East Coast you Gotta love life and all for wonderful things Being the travel is a privileged thing Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh Streets filled with trash, various people in the ass It's easy to tell who's up a middle class Police and racism, same as crash Back to where they not social, where they less vocal When they don't know you, be careful Show you around the East Coast West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, grab your raps, roll it up, if you rap, East Coast, weather, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork, if you rap, West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame, got paparazzi's playing cameras your way, Got you bobbing and weaving like cash is clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to a law they pray. Probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west. For big and pop, y'all, let's connect. Rather east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, west coast, brother, east coast. West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. You can't get the West without the ES. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Either one, we in now. You know what it is. Yo, no joke, welcome to the smile treatment, you know. Yeah, yeah. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. You know what it is. All right, what's good? What's good? Who in the building? Who in the building? Choke no joke, you already know. It's truth be told, all day, every day, even on a holiday, even on your anniversary. Shout out to all the Aries in the building. Y'all time is almost up. It's about to be Taurus season. Act like y'all know. Y'all better get it off, get it off, get it off. <laughs> All you Aries, get it off, get it off, get it off. Because we here now. Taurus season. Trying to send out these notifications. Because, you know, y'all always complain. Y'all ain't get the notifications. The weather's getting nice out here. So, as y'all know, we here for the current events. Choke No Joke Live this is what we do. All right. Shout out to all the Choke No Jokesters in the building. All right. We got some Diddy news tonight. 
We got some Tupac news, some Suge Knight news, some Death Row news, some Dirty Cop news, some big crybaby bitch ass nigga news. It's a lot in the news today. Well, I ain't go live yesterday, so I guess I'm catching up. All right, cool. I'm good now. All I got to do is turn this Instagram on and we could get officially started. For all those out there that didn't know that I got a new Instagram, it's Real Choke No Joke. You see it right here? Real Choke No Joke. Right here. Real Choke No Joke. Please follow me. All right, we all good now. So today... It's, I got a lot to talk about. Jesus, I got a lot to talk about. Instagram, I'm live on YouTube. If you ain't know now, you know Choke No Joke is back on the gram. Okay, okay. All right. My man, Whack on Wood. Whack on Wood. Gonna walk, walk on wood, walk, walk on wood. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know Agua, my favorite drink. Ran through it all in the building. AC's in the building. All right, membership gang. Talisha Renee in the building. Perry Jones here. Joel King as well. Kim Gay, CJ's in the building. And we in here. All right. My baby Michelle Jess is in here. Mike Miggity. All right. Fred Jenkins in the building. Rasson's in the building. Payday's in the building. Who else in the building? B Dog in the building. What up? A man of God in the building. For always and forever is in here. Each moment with you. Who else is in? Black is beautiful is here. Anthony Pearson is here. The G D is here. Shard is in the building, of course, you already know. Sarah's in the building. Replay Queen. All right, Tay, what up? JT in the building. Appreciate you, JT. Is Glow still sitting in jail in Georgia for DUI? I don't know. I'm going to go bail out, though. Let me go bail Glow out. When they call her for a bail get paid, when a bail get paid, they're going to be like, on bail, Glow. <laughs> on bail, Glow. On bail, Glow. On bail, Glow. You're going to see her come walking out the cell like, on bail, Glow. 
Yeah, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. On Bell Glow. Yeah, to all y'all in here that was hating. On Bell Glow. <laughs> I don't know, but we we will see. But yeah, as y'all know, it's been reported that my little girlfriend Glorilla and got locked up DWI. She's on her way to see me drunk. I'm gonna fuck you up, nigga. I'ma push your ass shoot. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh-huh. See? Drinking. All right. You already know. But uh yeah, poor little Glorilla got caught for DUI. I don't know if it was alcohol or some type of narcotic or marijuana. We don't know yet. We'll see in a second. Let's see if they updated that story. <laughs> they said her titty popped out during the stop. Oh, she got caught in Gwinnett, too. She must got her little boyfriends out here in the A. Uh, they ain't got no news. Let's see if they got a. I want to see footage. That's what I want to see. Uh, they ain't got no footage of the rest. They ain't no need. Well, we do got the mug shot. Let's see the mug shot. Oh, it might have been the alcohol beverage. There you go, the mug shot. Let me see what the... Did a... Uh, did she have a nip slip or she was trying to entice the officer to let her go? <laughs> Come on, officer. Look at these cute little titties. Let me go. <laughs> Glorilla found herself in a jail cell this week after cops busted her for DUI. And she apparently had a wardrobe malfunction while this all went down. According to a police report, the rapper was arrested and booked early Tuesday morning on suspicion of driving under the influence, consuming slash possessing an open alcohol beverage container and a separate traffic charge in Gwinnett County, Georgia. She was hauled into jail around 6, 12 a.m. and bonded out a few hours later. A booking info obtained notes that one of her aliases is Hallelujah which is her legal middle name. Her mother named her Hallelujah? As for what exactly happened here, cops say they saw a vehicle making a U-turn at a solid red light around 4 a.m., so they pulled the vehicle over to see what was what. The officer who took the report claims he smelled marijuana and alcohol emanating from the car and claims Glow Glorilla told him she'd been drinking that evening, but he explained she wouldn't say how much she had consumed and insisted she was good to drive. The police say they then administrated a field of sobriety test, which they claimed Glorilla was shaky on, especially staying on her feet. They put her through the ringer, it seems making her
They put her through the ringer. It seems making her to do the eye follow test, the walk and turn, one leg balance, walk in the straight line, etc. On the judge, on just about all of them, the cops claim she bombed. Finally, they got to the breathalyzer, which the police claim she refused to submit to. During the whole back and forth, the cops say Glorilla's breast slipped out from under her clothes, which he had to tell her about. In the end, Glorilla got arrested, and the cops say an associate came to pick her up. Associate came to pick up her vehicle. Yeah, I know we're gonna see the uh body cam footage on this in a minute. What's interesting is that. Glorilla herself hasn't shown any indication she ran into legal trouble. Her Instagram is full of people twerking their asses to her and making this stallion's new wannabe song. Business as usual, in other words. We reached out to Glorilla. Glorilla, so far, no word back. Damn, Glow. Damn, Glow. They had you on the cold floor. Damn, Glow. You had them handcuffs on. Damn, Glow. Now, I don't understand how she get the smile in her mugshot. Because whenever I got arrested and I tried to smile in my mugshot, the police get angry that you smile. And they tell you, don't smile. You better not smile. So I don't, I don't get it. How was she able to smile in her mugshot? And they don't let men smile in their mugshot. They will not let you smile. They want you to look mean. So when they, whenever you, what you call it, uh, whenever you ever get in trouble and they got your mugshot, they don't want it looking like hers, but you all smiling and cheesing and they want you looking like. So they be like, this is the guy we looking for. And then they post your picture up and you be like, Looking like a hardened criminal and shit. I'll tell you, since I remember one time, when they took, went to take my picture, and I was like, <laughs> the cop was got messed. So stop, stop to fucking smile. You think it's funny? Stop fucking smiling. Rough me up and shit to make me take a, a picture that make me look like I'm rough or a gangster or something. They don't want you to smile in your in your uh your mug shot. Ask anybody that been arrested for whatever and tried to smile. They will get mad at you for trying to smile. It's crazy. So let me get to this next story. Free glow, free glow, Rilla, free glow. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, Instagram. Don't go nowhere. I need to get this link. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Find this joint. 
Is this it? Yeah, it is it. Is this it? Hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. What is the date on this? One day ago. Well, that's one hour ago. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm back, Instagram. All right, so what's going on now? As y'all can see, Sean got them. Y'all know I, I haven't talked about Sean. I, you know, Sean is uh, speaking out on Diddy. He's getting, it looked like he's getting pressure from uh, the Brit, uh, the Belize uh, government to speak on the Diddy situation. So Sean finally speaks on the Diddy situation. Uh, the Club New York incident. And this is not good for Diddy at this time. Not at all. Right? Not that Sean is changing his tune or anything because he's always maintained that, you know, Diddy did it. But when he came home, he kind of like forgave Diddy and stopped talking about it and not wanting to like throw Diddy under the bus now that, you know, he's home. But Here's what Sean got to say today, right? Uh, I'm using this under fair use. So you know that the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teacher scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. All right? So we are here to criticize and comment on this, all right? Let's get to it. For the past few weeks, dark allegations and civil lawsuits have swirled around American entertainment mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. And one name that keeps coming up is Shine Barrows. And of course, it would. He served nearly 10 years in a U.S. prison for a shooting in a Manhattan nightclub where one woman was shot to the face. That woman has constantly claimed and is now vocally restating her claim that it was Diddy, not Shine, who shot her. Barrow refused to speak about it at his last press briefing in late March and says he has declined dozens of requests from international press to discuss it. And he declined again today during the press briefing. But at the end of it, 
conceded to make some comments. His first since Diddy's name became immersed in scandal. It is, it opens wounds um, when you hear, um, you know, the victim saying that it was Diddy that shot her. That is what is the most remarkable. Oh, you didn't see that? I saw it. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations. And in those accusations, he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most because you know I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy, um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story uh, for all the years but until I got court and never really pointed the finger at yes but what so what i'm yeah. saying is that was a decision that i made as a young man and i'm not saying i'm not going back on that i'm not about to point the finger no i'm not going to get into that well others are doing it sir i'm just saying that i maintain my innocence all this time i said i was defending myself i didn't get into who did what um but the victim is telling you who did what and another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. But it does open wounds. And um, certainly, I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is. That, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. So, according to Barrow, he has been vindicated after spending a decade in prison, but he never held it against P. Diddy, with whom he has publicly reconciled with in recent years. Puff, you better get your affairs in order, brother. You can't go to jail, bro. You can't go to jail. You get ready to go to jail. Sean already knows what's ahead for him. What's ahead for Sean is a talk with the federal government in New York. And they're going to offer him a motherfucking reversal on his sentence. And he's going to have his uh, United States... Um, citizenship restored mark my words watch what happens watch what happens they're gonna overturn sean's conviction and they're gonna give him his uh united states united states citizenship back and then they're going to federally put that shit on, 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 on Puff. Watch. Watch what I'm telling you. You watch what I'm telling you. This Sean is a chameleon. He damn sure is. That nigga Sean could turn to anybody. You drop that nigga in, in China tomorrow. That nigga be dressing, looking like Bruce Lee. With Bruce Lee's accent. But um, oh, Diddy, you screw, bro. You are so screw. And now Sean's a politician. It's gonna be so easy for them to reverse his shit. Oh my God, Diddy, you yo.
Diddy. Diddy. Yo, time is ticking, boy. You and Reggie, Reggie Wright gonna be in the same cell. Reggie Wright Jr. Y'all about to be sellies. Man. That, that, I'm telling you, Shine's having that, that's not a good look for Diddy, bro. That is not a good look for Diddy, bro. If you think they can't overturn that conviction, you got another thing coming. Diddy, you in trouble, brother. Like I told you last year, you was in trouble, brother. <laughs> he said, Professor X and Nightcrawler. <laughs> That's funny. So, let's get over to the Dirty Pig. Y'all know who the Dirty Pig is, right? No, not Gene, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's get into Reggie Wright Jr. Right. The guy's scared to say my name. He don't want my name. He can't say my name. Say my name. Say my name. When you are guilty, you don't want my name. Say my name. Say my name. Your ass is so guilty. We hear them clicks of the chains. Say my name, say my name. Reggie's going to jail for Tupac murder and Biggie's coming soon. Reggie, you going to jail, going to jail. You going to jail. You going to jail. You going to jail, nigga. You watch. Time keep on ticking, ticking. Nick, knack, patty, wag, give Reggie a bone. That nigga going into jail without a microphone. You going to jail, bro. You are so guilty in the Tupac murder. It is inevitable. Unless these fucking feds need you on the streets for some reason, I don't understand how they don't see how guilty you are, brother. First of all, you so guilty that you can't even get your story straight. You so guilty that you on YouTube trying to fix it and make it, excuse me, and making it 10 times worse. You so guilty. You like a little kid get caught in the refrigerator eating candy with chocolate all over your goddamn mouth and fingers and talking about you ain't do it. You ain't eat nothing. You are guilty, brother. You are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Your stories don't match up. You keep lying. You keep telling on yourself. You keep trying to fix the stuff and making it worse. Let's talk about your latest videos. This is why I didn't come on last night. I was giving you enough rope to hang yourself. And boy, did you hang yourself the other day trying to use Michael Moore and goddamn Frank Alexander as an alibi that you, after you said they were lying. You said they were lying. You said Michael Moore was a liar. 
You said Frank Alexander was a liar. We was not supposed to believe them. But now you telling us to believe them. Why would you want us to believe the people that you told us not to believe? They was liars. And why didn't you play those clips in full? Because you're lying, Reggie. You busted. You know that, right? I don't know what the feds is waiting for. Maybe they're not as smart as the the the, the people in, in, in the universe or the people that's watching. Or maybe they just waiting for you to do something else and then they're going to swoop in, swoop in on you. But you the one that said they got the 99% conviction rate. So I'm willing to bet that they just waiting for something else before they swoop down on you and lock you up. It's only a matter of time. If I can see it and everybody else can see it, except for your stupid ass followers and your comments, because these motherfuckers, and you got the dumbest people in YouTube universe that go in your comments and say that you are a truth teller. You don't lie. You telling the truth and all this stuff. I read your comments and those people got to be the dumbest people in the YouTube universe. If they cannot see how guilty you are, how inconsistent you are, how much you lie, your body language, it's like, I, I'm like, who are these kids like two years old in the comments? Like, how do they not see how full of shit you are? I don't understand it. Like, I don't understand it. How do people not see how you sit there and, and trip yourself up and tell on yourself every time, right? So let, let's get to the to, to your latest video, right? Because me and RJ Bond, we done ripped up the other video. Like that, that was like... That was fun. And I, I, I wish I wouldn't have erased it because I see all these other niggas trying to grab what I'm saying and they're going to do this one too. So yeah, yeah, go ahead. We all fighting the same cause. We want to see this fat goddamn pork butt ass crooked cop take that perp walk for the late great Tupac Shakur. Now, I'm going to show y'all how guilty he is. If y'all didn't see his last video, it's two new videos he dropped, right, that I didn't respond to. One is uh, let me see. Okay, so this new one, everyone Suge Knight gets mad at, he blamed for Tupac losing his life, right? Now, in this video, many of y'all know, if y'all was watching, Suge Knight never said which kid's mother he was referring to. Right, he got. I believe the Tammy Hawkins or Teresa Swan chick may have a baby by him. You got Sharita that has a baby by him. You have Michelle that has a baby by him, and I believe he he might have some other kids. I don't know who uh, Legend Mother is. I don't know uh, who Suge Junior Mother is. I don't, I don't know all, who all these mothers is, but it's clear that he has several baby mothers. He never mentioned any one of them, right? Never mentioned any one of them by name. 
He just said his baby mother. Professor X, you know, he, he can read minds. For some reason, he was able to read Suge's mind and say that he was talking about Sharitha. Suge never said Sharitha, right? So this is, a, uh, this is the guilt that Reggie has, right, that he tells on himself. Now, he says, oh, he's talking about Sharitha, and then when he's talking about the dirty cop, the crooked cop, you know, he talking about me. And I know y'all talk, think he, you know, he talking about me when he referred to the dirty cop, the crooked cop. Who's to say he wasn't talking about Kevin Gaines? Since you want to say that it was Sharitha that he was talking about, wouldn't Kevin Gaines be the dirty crooked cop, the rampart that was cool with uh, Rafael Perez and David Mackinac? Wasn't they his friends, Reggie? So who's to say the dirty, crooked cop wasn't Kevin Gaines, Reggie? Why did you put yourself in that in that seat? Why would you want to put yourself in that seat if you feel like he's making accusations of who shot him and Tupac and if it allegedly was Sharita and uh, allegedly her crooked cop boyfriend, Kevin Gaines. Why would you put yourself in there? But since you wanted to put yourself in there, let, let's keep you in there. Let's see you be the dirty crooked cop, right? But you said that why would Sharita have anything to do with this? Well, if Suge died, who would inherit in everything? If Suge died, who would have inherited all his shit? Her being married to him at the time, right? Let me give you a little secret, Reggie, you stupid motherfucker. When there is a shooting or a murder between a married couple, don't you know the motherfucking spouse is the first victim in a goddamn murder of a married couple? You didn't know that? If you found yourself in the tub, drowned because... Somebody dumped your ass in the tub in your house and out that wheelchair in the goddamn tub. You don't think your wife is going to be the first suspect? So now, you said, why was Sharita? Sharita went, it's just called motive. I'm not saying Sharita had anything to do with this. But she has motive, right? If Suge died, would she have benefited from his death? Yes, right, Reggie? Okay. So she has motive. Not saying that she did it. Now, Reggie, wasn't Sharitha having a, an affair, a pre-marriage to affair with Kevin Gaines? Didn't Suge catch Sharita and Kevin Gaines in Vegas and took him out to the desert and stripped that nigga and beat his ass and, let, and left him out there allegedly? That's called motive, Reggie. That's motive. So why would Sharita and her Alleged crooked cop, rest in peace, Kevin Gaines. Why? You forgot he took them out to the desert and whipped his ass and left him stripped out there butt naked, allegedly, and then when it kicked in Sharita's door looking for that nigga, allegedly, according to her. That's called motive, Reggie. It's motive. Reggie, was Kevin Gaines in Vegas on record two days 
before the Tupac murder and was in Vegas two days after the murder. That's on record. That's a fact. So you telling me him being in Vegas at the same time is not a coincidence? Or is it a coincidence? Or maybe because it was just because it was Mike Tyson fight, right? But you tell me Kevin Gaines ain't have motive to kill Shook? You tell me Sharita, Sharitha didn't have motive to kill Shook because of their uh relationship between the relationship between her and Kevin Gaines. Not saying she did, but if he beat up if he beat up her boyfriend, right? And went that far as to strip this nigga and leave him in the desert. You don't think that shit is worse than Orlando Anderson getting jumped? And Orlando Anderson having uh, a relationship or Keefe D having a relationship with Suge and saying that he was going to take Orlando to Suge so uh, Pac and them could shoot a fair one? If they talking about fighting and shooting a fair one, who you think got more motive to want to kill Suge? Orlando? Or Kevin Gaines. And why would you assume out of all his baby mothers that he was talking about Sharita? And then you go to say, oh, he, he mad at Sharita. What is he mad at Sharita for? He did 15 episodes and never said he was mad at Sharita. He did 15 episodes and never said shit about Sharita. So where do you assume that he's mad at Sharita? Oh, I remember. You said he's mad at Sharita because Sharita told Mob James some shit that he said on Vlad attacking Shook. Now, what gives you the impression that one, Suge saw Marv James interview on Vlad TV. See how you tell on your fucking self? Why did you assume that Suge saw Marv James interview on Vlad TV? And why would you assume that Suge saw Marv James interview on Vlad TV and heard what Marv James said and assumed that he got the information from Sharitha. You just dimed her out, you dumbass nigga. You just dimed her out. And then he leaves the, 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 uh, that joint with saying, oh, Suge only doing that because he mad at, when he get mad at people, he accused them of killing Tupac. Shug been in, Tupac been dead 30 years, nigga. 30 years. How many times you think he been mad at Sharita in 30 years? So today he did, he mad at Sharita and he accused her. Well, he didn't accuse her. You say he accused her because he never said nobody's name. You said her name. And since you want to call yourself the dirty pig, right? We all got a question, Reggie. Why did it take you three hours to get to the hospital? You said you got to the hospital three hours later. Las Vegas is as big as Compton, nigga. Why did it take you three hours to get to the hospital after Tupac and Suge was shot? 
You the head of security. You said Bunchy and Neckbone came over to 662 and told you they got shot. You seen the police cars racing code three to the scene. First, you said you got in the car with George Kalisis and you y'all went to the hospital because y'all know they went to the hospital. Then you said, oh, no, I got in the car with Michael Moore. And then I heard the got him. Now you heard the got him over the radio, right? And then you said on this new one that snooping up, yo, yo, Reggie, you going to jail, bro. Why are you keep making up these stories, bro, that, that you was not there for? You got an answer for everything. You going to jail, bro. I'm going to be the first nigga to write you when you go to jail saying, nigga, I told you. I'm going to send you your first card and say, nigga, I told you. You going to jail for Tupac murder. Watch. So you sit there and you say, oh, I'm, he said the dirty cop. Well, I'm assuming that it was me. Reggie, outside of you being a, a rat bastard, right? Because you can't tell me your ass ain't no fucking rat. What nigga gets 70 to 85 months? You got 18 months, seven times. You was convicted to 18, each count, you got seven counts you got, you pled guilty to, and you got 18 months for seven counts. How the fuck you only do a year when you were supposed to do 70 something months? Let me get the exact amounts. Months. Let me where my calculator. You got 18 months times seven. It's 126. What do you have? He had like 70 something, 80 months, something like that. 80 months. Yeah, you were supposed to do about six, seven years, nigga. And you did months. You get months. So we know how you give it up. We know exactly how you give it up. Dry snitching ass nigga. This thing is a dry snitch. Talking about, yeah, if I was a rat, I was a snitch. Then I would talk about uh, some theater. He mentioned some theater. If I told, I would have mentioned the theater. You just mentioned it, you fucking rat. You a fucking rat. If, if I was a snitch, I would have mentioned the theater. Nigga, you just did. Fucking rat. You a snitch. Talking about snitch joke. Your ass is a fucking rat. We still waiting for you to produce that transcript that I supposed to snitch in. Pull it up on Pacer, nigga. Put it on your channel and read the whole fucking transcript and tell me where I told on the nigga. You rat bastard. I could pull up your shit. Yeah, I ain't mentioned the theater, you sucker ass nigga. I ain't mentioned the theater. You just did. You fucking dry snitching ass nigga. Ice T he called you. Ice T called you a dry snitch, and he he couldn't have called one, nobody else one better than you, nigga. Oh, I ain't mentioned the theater. You was a snitch ass nigga. I ain't mentioned the theater. You just did, rat. For they could come ask you about the theater, you fucking rat. I ain't gonna mention the theater, fucking rat ass nigga. And why would you? You let me tell you how stupid you are. This is how stupid you are. 
you gonna go use Tupac assassination movie that implicates you as one of the motherfucking niggas that conspired to fucking kill Tupac, and you gonna go use that fucking goddamn documentary and put clips from that shit for people to go and reference it and go read, go watch this documentary to see the bigger picture that you had something to do with it. You stupid motherfucker. You so stupid. You would go and use the documentary that's showing you had something to do with Tupac's murder, allegedly. And you would go use a clip that's implicating you to make your point. That's how dumb you are. I hope everybody go and watch that documentary because it shows how fucking incompetent you are as a fucking security person. Dummy. Use a dummy. Like you go and use the, 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 the film that implicates you in the goddamn murder, bro. You are so fucking stupid, bro. This nigga is dumb. So my yo, whenever he should get mad at Sharita, he starts this stuff. Tell the world what what Suge is mad at Sharita for. They've been over for how many years? Decades. They've been over for at least two decades. What could he possibly be mad at Sharita for today, Reggie? Tell the people why Suge is mad at Sharita. Well, she ain't sent him a care package. She can't give him no sex. Like, why would he be mad at her, Reggie? She ain't sent him no Jack Mac. What? She ain't sent him no socks, no underwear. What reason would he have to be mad at her for, bro? Whenever he get mad at Sharita... He starts this stuff. So, all right. So he's mad at Sharitha. So what that got to do with Snoop and them niggas saying fuck death row and don't go, go to the fight? What that got to do with that? If he mad at Sharitha, what do that got to do with Snoop and them niggas not going to the fight? I'll wait. We'll wait next week for you to answer that one. And stop back and talking that, oh, man, we only tape once a week. We only tape once a week. You know, if I would have got on Wednesday, boy, oh, man, sure lucky I ain't got on Wednesday. He look, nigga, go live. You can go live on YouTube anytime you like, ain't like any other time you go live. You didn't have to wait to Sunday. You had to put your fucking story together. You had to come up with something good. And you know what? Using Michael Moore and Frank Alexander was not it. That was the wrong thing for you to do, brother. Because all you showed was how much more fucking guilty you are. Those was the last two niggas you was supposed to use to prove you was right. Not those two. We can see how nervous you are. Anytime you get the nigga, by the time this is over, you're gonna have nubs. You're gonna be you're gonna be on eight off all your fucking fingertips. And then that press release y'all show. Yeah, because they, yo, because Shug, y'all remember the press release Shug put out? Y'all remember the press release Shug put out? Bro, what do that press release say? Nothing. Nothing. Let me show y'all this bullshit ass press release he talking about.
For a media, this is 2017, he talking about this. In the presence of era of fake news and alternative facts, the search for responsible, responsible journalism and reporting continues. Very recently, a press release was issued stating that attorney Thaddeus J. Culpepper wrote and signed an affidavit regarding the assassination of Tupac. The writers of the press release also state that the alleged affidavit contains statements from Suge Knight. The press release cites no author. Culpepper's Knight's nice attorney responds to the unattributed press release as follows. As counsel for Mr. Knight, my duty is to assist him in proving the, his innocence in his present cases. I have never made an official statement regarding Tupac Shakur, nor have I made any statements on my client's behalf regarding Mr. Shakur, written or otherwise. Articles relying on this attributed press release are uh, without merit. Mr. Culpepper represents civil night. I mean, represents Mr. Knight in the civil and criminal proceedings and may reach be reached for whatever. Nigga, what do that got to say about anything? What does that press release say about anything? What does that press release say about anything? Nothing. Man, she put out a press release about that. Reggie, you going to jail, bro. You going to jail, bro. I know you hear the shackles coming. So my man, he, he mad at he mad because of, of what Mob James said. Cause cause he think Mob James got the information from Sharita. And then at the at the end of the joint, he go, yo, sure. Sharita didn't tell Mob James that. Who told Mob James what? You think you y'all get up here. Warren G gets up here and he he attacks Shook. And talking about asking Shug why he bothered him. He ain't never do nothing. He's only responding to what Shug, I mean, Warren G said on Drink Champs. You have been up here on YouTube for the last five years, Reggie, kicking Shug back in. One minute you friend, one minute you his friend, next minute he killed Poochie. I mean, he got Poochie to kill Biggie. One minute, next minute you his friend and you defending him. Next minute, you got whack up in there kicking his back in. Next minute, you his friend and you his defender. Next minute, you kicking his fucking back in again to trying to dry snitch on something else. Nigga, you are fucking the worst friend ever. You turned against Shook. Sharita turned against Shook. Mob James turned against Shook. Snoop, the dog pal. All y'all turned against Shook. Nobody, nobody fucks with Shook. And I'm not saying y'all should. But the fact that none of y'all fuck with him and you talking about why he blame me, y'all. Well, you the one that said that Pac and Snoop had real beef. You the one that said after the New York shit, it was on. So wouldn't that be motive? Didn't you get fired? Didn't you find out that you, uh, I mean, that David Kenner, you said it. David Kenner got caught stealing and he bumped him and told him how he was disappointed in him. 
So she'll find out that y'all stole 20, 30, 40 million, or they did. And then you said Shook told Tupac to fire David Kenner. So Shook finds out that yeah, that David Kenner steal it. He tell Pac to fire uh, David Kenner. Pac not only fires David Kenner, but he fire you as well. Sharif is over there fucking Kevin Gaines. That's her boyfriend. Sugar done strep this nigga, which call this that over. Sugar chose size with Pac over Snoop. So you tell me all oh, you, Sharita, Snoop, Dog Pal, Kenna, y'all all don't have motive? Not saying that y'all have motive, but you tell me y'all don't all have motive to do something to Pac and Shook? And he's just saying all this shit because he's mad at Sharita. What do him being mad at Sharita got to do with Warren G and the walkie talking here and got him? What him being mad at Sharita got to do with you lying, saying you got in the car with George Kalisis, and then you say you got in the car with Michael Moore? You do know the spouse is the first suspect in the murder, right? When a person's married, right? Do I need to remind you of that? Especially when the husband is a multimillionaire. Why do you think the dog pound got back together right now? <laughs> Why do you think the dog pal is getting together right now out of all the time in the world. Because niggas need to get their fucking stories together. You have motive. Because something happened to Suge, who, who's going to run the label? The same person that went to jail. When, I mean, ran the label when he went to jail, according to you, right? So that would give you motive because you inherit the label and, and because you tight with Sharita. Right? We know what Sharita would have motive for. She would inherit the label. We would know why uh, Kenner would have motive, right? He's the lawyer. All the shit, he got a bunch of shit in his name, allegedly, or had, right? Kevin Gaines has motive because she whipped his ass. And he messing with his, 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 his wife. And then you try to say, man, Sharita sued Snoop. They not cool. She sued them way later, nigga. Way later. Suge was in jail when she sued Snoop. Who are you fooling, Reggie? And then you say, man, okay, let's say if if we did get uh, conspired to kill Tupac, wouldn't we all be cool with each other if we have to stay cool with each other? Reggie, who you think you talking to? Nigga, the, fact, the FBI can hire me, and I'll sit down and lay everything out for them. Reggie, when Suge went to jail, Tupac's dead, who ran death row? Wasn't y'all still cool? You and Sharita still cool to today, even despite she might be mad at your ass now because you probably get her into some shit by keep running your fucking mouth. And she told you 
I think last year or the year before. Get off the fucking internet, Reggie. Stop fucking talking. You remember that? She said it in the interview with the, the, that dude, and you reiterated that she told you that, right? So you said, yo, if we all conspired to kill, we, we all would have to still be cool. Hold on, brother. You and Keithy D been cool for years. We watch you call Keithy D on the internet. We watch you show proof that you have a relationship with him. Even though you threw him under the bus. You have a relationship with Marl James. Still. Marl James have a relationship with Keefe D. Was living in, in Vegas with Keefe D. Was getting money with Keefe D's son, allegedly. According to Keefe D, when he slipped up and said it. Yeah, Marl James, you and my son was getting money. I mean, was hanging together. We know that, right? So you, Keefe D, Marl James. Is and, and Mom James' son, y'all all cool. You and Sharita's cool. You and Snoop and Sharita were still doing business when Shug went to jail. Were you not at death row when they dropped the dog father? Was David Kenner still around when y'all dropped the dog father and went over the priority? Wasn't it you and David Kenner running shit in Michelle LA? Y'all ain't had no relationship? You ain't had no relationship with Sharita then when Shook was in jail? Snoop ain't had no relationship with Sharita when when and when 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 Shug went to jail. Let's not act like did uh Shug went to jail and this thing went to no limit immediately. No, you tell me Dog Pound corrupt and Daz wasn't still at death row with you when Shug was in jail. So y'all didn't have no relationships after Pac got killed? Fuck out of here, nigga. Who you think you talking to? You keep telling on yourself, bro. Only way they ain't they picked your ass up yet is either they ain't looking hard enough or you working hard enough. Talking about, yo, if we conspired to do that murder, we be bonded together for life. Y'all are, nigga. Y'all are. Where was Mob James when the shooting occurred? When the fight occurred? Where was Keefe D when the shooting occurred? When the fight occurred? Where were you, Reggie, when the shooting occurred, when the fight occurred? And ironically, you, Marv James, Keefe D, Keefe D, son, y'all all still cool? Talk to me, Reggie. Don't answer, Shug. Answer me. Don't answer, Shug. Answer me. Y'all bonded for y'all will be bonded for life. Uh, yeah. This is why you keep sitting there trying to defend Snoop. And Reggie, let me ask you a question. This is a, a real good question. Why are you so adamant that Snoop ain't had nothing to do with Pac shit? How do you know? Now, Snoop, I'm not saying you do. But, Reggie, why are you so sure Snoop ain't got shit to do with it? How you know that? If you saying Snoop hates you and you ain't got no relationship with Snoop, why you could put your life on the line that Snoop ain't got nothing to do with it? Here's a better question. Why you keep telling us to believe Keefe D. Who the fuck is Keefe D that we are to supposed to believe anything that Keefe D say 
to be goddamn gold and be the truth. Why you want us to believe KVD? Why there's no other alternatives, no other options to this murder? Why we got to believe the KVD story? When you wasn't there to see it. Why is no other alternative, Reggie? How do you know it was them? Why there's no other possibilities? Why it can't be the crooked cops? How do you know for a fact it was them? You wasn't there. You wasn't even at the fight. So why you keep telling everybody is Keith E.D.? How you know that? What makes it an absolute fact that it was Keith E.D. that you know that? He's lying. He's lying. Now, death row wasn't over when Suge went to jail. Then, then Interscope benefit. Then, how many, how many Tupac albums did y'all put out after Tupac died, and he was done with the, the his contract after Machiavelli? How many more albums did they, did death row put out or Interscope put out? And you tell me y'all y'all still ain't have relationships? Man, get the fuck out of here, Reggie. And then this dude, he told me, oh, y'all listening to Stitch Joke and Michael Collin. Y'all ain't got to listen to me. Just use common sense. That's what I'm saying. You ain't got to listen to me. Just use common sense. Reggie, everybody's not dumb. Dumb. Four albums after Machiavelli. Thank you. When Tupac had a three album deal with them. He told my oh, uh, man, uh, man, we ain't worried about y'all, meal you know, with your little audience. You got a little audience. Reggie, I am more known than you are. are you, you got to be out your fucking mind, nigga, to think that you are more known in this world than I am. Nigga, you a goddamn fool, my little audience. You only got 10,000 more subscribers to, than me. And you got those from me. Me talking about your ass. They went over there. Only reason you got more than me because you don't mention my name. Because those 10,000 of your people will come over here, nigga. You don't mention my name because you don't want them to come and hear the truth. 
That's why you don't say my name, nigga. Because you don't want them to know who Choke No Joke is. For they can start searching my page and find out about all your goddamn lies, nigga. Little audience. They got 10,000 more subscribers than me. That's it. And that's of lately when Suge doing the fucking uh, collect calls and them responding to it, they gained more. Nigga, they, we had about the same amount of uh, subscribers. Nigga, you got 10,000 more. And more people know me than they know you. Trust me, nigga. Trust me. And no, my numbers get fucked with. But it don't matter to me. I ain't got no fake numbers. I ain't got no bots like the the, the rest of these uh, fake ass YouTube niggas. And, and nobody be, believes Keefe D's story anyway. You know why we don't believe Keefe D's story? Because it came from you, nigga. We not stupid. Remember, 2008, Gray Caden came to you as the suspect in Biggie's murder. We not stupid. We didn't forget. Gray Caden only came to you because you was the suspect in Biggie murder. You took his dumb, stupid ass and turned him around and told him Southside killed Biggie and retaliation because they didn't get the money for Tupac. And then that's when I had Kimmy Love ask you, well, how did you know that it was, you said, you told Gray Caden that Southside did kill Biggie because they didn't get their money on the hit on Tupac. How did you know it was a hit on Tupac? I thought Tupac got jumped by, uh, got killed because of Orlando. And your dumb ass fell for my trick question because it didn't come out of my mouth. You saw a pretty face and you answered it, you stupid ass. Her and OG Patrice questions was from me, you dumb ass. I caught you. I caught you. So you was the suspect in Gray Caden's case for the Biggie murder, and you told him that it was motherfucking Southside did it because they didn't get money, they money for the uh, the hit on Tupac. And then when they asked you, well, how did you know? And I thought that it, Tupac got got killed because uh, he jumped on Orlando, and Orlando was a gangster. What was your answer, nigga? Oh no, nah, you know it was it was because of the the, the the money for Puffy, you know. But you know, I do think it was because they jumped on him too. But I do think it was a hit too. How did you know that, Reggie? That it was a hit. KVD told you. How did you know that, Reggie? In two thousand eight, KVD told you. And then when Gray Cade and double back on you and said, yo, you're a fucking liar. Southside was at the Peterson Museum with Biggie that night. Then you threw it on Suge. Oh, no, you know what? It was Suge Knight. He hired Poochie to kill Biggie. Another lie. And then Gray Cade goes and falsifies a statement, a written statement from Poochie, a dead man, and gives it to Teresa Swan and gave her immunity in the Biggie killing because they try to set up Shook, which means you probably got if if if, Tam, if Tammy Hawkins got immunity in the Biggie killing and Greg Caden gave her immunity to try to set up Shook for it, and you came up with that fucking lie after you told him that Southside killed Biggie. I guarantee you, you got immunity in the motherfucking Biggie killing.
That's the only reason your ass ain't indicted for that biggie killing. Because Greg Kane is stupid ass that gave you immunity, I bet you. I bet you. If he gave Tim, Teresa, what's her name? Tammy Hawkins, Teresa Swan, whatever the fuck her name is. If he gave her immunity to set up Shook, and that shit was a lie, and that didn't work, as we can see, Shook is not arrested, convicted, indicted, or anything in the biggie shit, because he had nothing to do with it. But you, nigga, guarantee you Greg Caden gave your ass immunity. If he gave it to her, you got it. And that's why your ass is safe right now in that biggie shit. I bet you. Ain't no Southside kill no Tupac. You created that whole Tupac narrative and Greg Caden got that shit from you. Because I'll never forget Keithy D saying when Greg Caden came to him, they went like this. They pulled the board down and they had them four in the car. They had the whole story already. He came to Keithy D from you, nigga. You sent him to Keithy D. And if he knew every, if Greg Caden knew everything went by the time he got the KVD, you told him the story. So how you know what happened in Vegas when you wasn't at the MGM Grand and you wasn't at the fucking shooting? Talk about it. Only way, the only reason your ass ain't locked up right now is because these goddamn feds ain't street smart. They ain't figured it out. They ain't put it together yet. But I guarantee you, in a second, especially if they watch it, they going to put it together, my nigga. Either that or you working. It's no way possible these motherfucking feds can't see your ass was involved in this fucking Tupac shit, nigga. And the big shit. It's no way they don't see it. You got to be working for these motherfuckers. You got to be working for them. We know Orlando wasn't the shooter. Shug said Orlando wasn't the shooter. And you not going to sit here and tell us fucking Shug can't see past the hood, motherfucker. We not talking about the 50-year-old Shug. We talking about the 20-year-old Shug. The 20-year-old Shug never wore glasses, had never had eye problems, motherfucker. So don't say it and keep trying to make excuses to throw people off to hide that your ass is guilty. Shook couldn't see in his 20s. Why, Reggie, is it a fact in your head that it was Orlando or Dre and you was not fucking there to see it? You didn't see it. So how are you so sure? Shook said Orlando wasn't the shooter. He know what the fuck Orlando looked like. Before the MG M Grand, he knew what Orlando looked like. He knew Keith E. D. before the MGM Grand, nigga. He watched Orlando play football. He said it. He know him. Lying ass nigga. T. Brown was not in the car. Y'all go watch Murder Rap. They got him on audio. 
Just like they got KVD on audio. T Brown's like, I was not in fucking Vegas. You want to tell us the truth? Did it? I was not in Vegas. I was not in Vegas. I was not in Vegas. T Brown was not there. He's on fucking record. On audio. You can hear it itself. Y'all go watch it. Don't take my word for shit. Y'all go watch it. T Brown was not in Vegas when motherfucking Tupac got shot. Go see it for yourself. You know how they saying T Brown was there? Six months later, after they ran up in his house and said they found a Vegas postcard. And that put him at the scene. A Vegas postcard, y'all. Anybody in here from California, how many years have you been going to Vegas? How many goddamn Vegas postcards you can have if you're from California and you went to Vegas? How many times have you, you went to... Listen, if you from New York, that's like going to Atlantic City. How many fucking times have you been to Atlantic City if you from New York? They find a postcard in his house. His girl could have had that postcard. His kids could have had that postcard. He could have had that postcard for 10 years. Just because they found a Vegas postcard in his house, he was in Vegas. Come on, man. Orlando went to the hospital. Orlando's shoulder got kicked out the socket. So you tell me this 6'5 nigga in the back seat on the passenger side, climbed over a 300 and something pound nigga, sitting behind the driver, and he's six feet in some change. The Cadillac back windows don't roll all the way down. And you telling me Orlando Anderson reached over this nigga with his big six five, long, tall, linky ass, and this big fat nigga sitting in, on, on the on the driver's side behind the driver and shit. He was able to reach over this nigga with a bum ass shoulder. Just got out the hospital. Well, he ain't even. He's still at the MGM Grand at the hotel because the eye in the sky don't lie, according to uh, Corey Edwards. He was at the bar, but we going to go with Reggie and say this nigga was in the car and reached over with his arm dislocated and had hit those perfect shots in that fucking door. Yeah, right. Even though Suge said he wasn't the shooter. But Suge's a liar, according to Reggie, and Reggie's a truth teller. Big Dre is in light skin. Gaddafi said the motherfucker was light-skinned, bald head with a hat on, and looked like a bitch in the face. Similar to Reggie. <laughs> right? How is that Big Dre? How is that even Orlando? So, Reggie, as a person that's so sure that we uh, got it wrong, even she got it wrong, why you got it right and you wasn't there? Why are you so confident that you got it right when you wasn't there and you know more than Suge and he was sitting right there? He the nigga with the bullet in the head. That's not strange to any of y'all. 
that Reggie's so adamant that it was Keithy did him and it can't be nobody else in Orlando and Dre was the shooter and it can't be nobody else. That's not strange to y'all for a nigga that wasn't there for none of it. But so sure exactly what happened that he even called his father before he even spoke to Sugar anybody and told him that Southside did it. That's not strange to any of y'all. How about that Reggie says he showed up to the hospital three hours later after the shooting? That's not strange to y'all. Buntry and Neckbone allegedly came straight up, and we know Neckbone don't like fucking Reggie. He made that clear. He arrested him, and, and, and they had a fight and everything, right? But, okay, we going to believe that Buntry, the nigga that hate Reggie, went to go tell him some shit and left Sugar and Tupac side to, to go to find Reggie, the nigga that wasn't there the whole time, right? So you tell us, Reggie, that Buntry and them um, came straight to you right after the shooting and told you what happened. You seen the cars racing to the scene. Where the fuck was you at for three hours? Why did you show up to the hospital three hours later? Pac and Sugar shot. Your job is to do security for death row your ceo your main target your and, and his biggest artist just got shot what the fuck was you doing for three hours my nigga that you showed up to the hospital three hours later three hours later afini shakur got there before you did, and she was in another state. How she get there before you, and you in Vegas? Three hours later, y'all. Do y'all have y'all ever been to Vegas? Do y'all know how small this shit is? When you flying into Vegas, you look out the window, you can see the whole Vegas. Where was Reggie for three hours, y'all? FBI, come on, y'all. Come on, FBI. Y'all telling me, FBI, head of security, Two of their main people got shot, and the head of security don't show up for three hours in the FBI. Three hours? And notify. It's not like he didn't know. He said he was notified what happened. He seen the cars racing to the scene. And he said he jumped in his car and went straight to the hospital. What hospital you went to that took you three hours to get there? I need somebody to help me with this. Three hours. Afini Shakur beat him to the to Shug. And was in another state, got on a plane. Reggie shows up three hours later, y'all. Three hours later. Yo, I swear to God to y'all, you can drive to Bartso, which is like two and a half hours, California. You can drive to Bakersfield, which is about two and a half, three hours to California. Ask anybody that live in California. You can drive to Bakersfield from Vegas in three hours. Three hours.
three hours, y'all. Three hours. Yo, I'm telling you, if you've never been to Vegas, I swear to God, Vegas is about the size of fucking a fucking football stadium. That shit is small, bro. That shit is not a big place. Especially for where everybody, uh, I'm not, I'm talking about Las Vegas downtown strip area. I'm not talking about Henderson, the outskirts or whatever. That shit is even fucking 10 minutes out. You telling me, you if you drive an hour straight any direction, your ass is driving out of Nevada. You're not going to be in Nevada an hour away out. Your fucking ass is out of fucking Nevada. You're definitely out of Las Vegas. How did this man show up to the hospital three hours later? And he's the head of security. What was he doing for three hours, y'all? I, I like somebody, somebody. What what's the worst case scenario, y'all? What's the best scenario that he could have been absent for three hours? Even that nigga, if he had diarrhea, he ain't gonna be on the toilet for three hours. You tell me the two biggest people on the West Coast get shot. You had a security. And it take you three hours to make it over to the hospital, y'all. Oh, here's the other thing. He says, oh, talking about their relationships, right? And he's talking about, Charita, you know, I mean, we we all conspired together. We ain't none of us cool with each other. You know what I'm saying? Charita don't have love for me and Snoop. Charita don't have love for you right now, Reggie. I'm sure she still love you. But the reason she probably ain't fucking with you now, Reggie, is because you getting her and shit staying on YouTube, running your fucking mouth trying to get a dollar. If I was Sharita, I wouldn't fuck with you neither. Your mouth keeps people in trouble. Your lies get people in deeper trouble because you keep trying to cover up shit. And of course she ain't got a relationship with Snoop now. Niggas 30 years later, she sued him. But don't act like you and Sharita wasn't cool a week ago. I'm sure y'all still cool. Only if she mad at you is because of your fucking mouth and nothing more, nothing less.
Same thing with Snoop. Snoop ain't probably ain't got love for you because of your mouth. KVD don't got love for you no more. Why? Because of your mouth and you fucking set him up to go to jail. But don't act like you and KVD wasn't cool. You and Sharita wasn't cool. You and Snoop wasn't cool. Knock it off, nigga. Because you and Marv James are still cool. Marv James is still cool with Keefe D family. Marv James' son still calls Gene from and, and, and update him on Keefe D. All y'all niggas are still cool, nigga. Stop it. And he's talking about, well, I don't know if, if, if Keefe D and Snoop is cool. You know, outside of their crip relationship. Now you don't know if Keefe D and Snoop is cool? You better shut up, Reggie. I'm telling you, bro. Should, I mean, Snoop getting ready to go to jail because of your fucking mouth, my nigga. Now you don't know if Snoop and Keefe D is cool. We didn't even know them niggas had a relationship. But thanks to your mouth, now we do. Now you don't know if Snoop and KVD is cool outside of them being Crips. Reggie, you fucking telling on yourself, my nigga. Orlando Anderson is from Long Beach originally. You told us Trayvon was from Long Beach originally. Am I lying, Reggie? Is Orlando Anderson and Trayvon Lane both not originally from Long Beach? You did not say that? So you know what their relationship is with Snoop. Let's not forget the hard white compilation, nigga. We all know Orlando Anderson is originally from Long Beach, California, nigga. And stop playing, nigga. Stop playing. It is more to that story, but I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm going to let you talk some more. Go ahead and talk some more. Tell me Orlando ain't from fucking Long Beach. Tell me Trayvon Lane ain't from Long Beach. So what else I know, Reggie? If I know Trayvon and... Orlando is from Long Beach. What else I know, Reggie? You hear them shackles coming, don't you? I'll save that for the next show. <laughs> you ain't think I knew, huh, Reggie? It ain't easy to figure out. All I got to do is keep listening to you talk which I'm sure the feds is doing right now. And the only reason your ass ain't in jail right now because I guarantee you your ass got immunity. You might not have immunity in Tupac's situation, but I guarantee you Greg Caden ass gave you immunity not knowing he had the motherfucker in front of him the whole time. Now he can't take that immunity back. That's the only reason your ass ain't locked up, nigga. And then you say, well, them crooked cops ain't got love for me. Oh, yes, they do. They got love for you, nigga, because they never told on you. And you try to act like you ain't no Kevin Gaines. We heard you on the phone call with Sharita. Kevin Gaines, you ever, you ever paid him a check from death row? Because they saying they got a copy of a check from him from death row. Yeah, Kevin Gaines. I thought you ain't know Kevin Gaines. You sound like you know who the fuck he is when you're talking to Sharita. 
And if you know Kevin Gaines, you know Rafael Perez, and you know David Mack. Lying ass motherfucker, you busted again. Busted again. Kevin Gaines, yeah. Did you ever cut him a check for death? I thought you didn't know who this nigga was. Yeah, you ain't addressed that shit. You skipped right over that. Oh, Shook, Matt, and Sharita, this, that, other. You ain't talking about the phone call between you and Sharita and knowing that you know Kevin Gaines and that Kevin Gaines was getting paid by Snoop. You skipped right over that part. You skipped right over that. Yeah, Kevin Gaines. You skipped right over that. Man, I wonder if Kenna and, and, and Ken Tron was paying that nigga. Why would you be worrying that? Worrying about that? Huh, Reggie? You know you busted, right? You ain't no Kevin Gaines. You and Sharita on the phone. That's what you get for recording the phone call and not fucking telling her. You think I would leave a paper trail? I was high to him. I'm not that stupid, Reggie. I'm scandalous, but I ain't that scandalous. Really? Now let's get into the walkie-talkie shit. Now, Reggie, you know how fucking stupid you sound? They say that there's no walkie-talkie that could go 300 miles. Even back in the 90s, Reggie, they had walkie-talkies that was going over 300 miles in the 80s. Reggie, what the fuck you think the military used? Phones? You damn sure ain't going to say Nextels wasn't going no goddamn 300 miles. Per, I mean, 300 miles. Them shits was nationwide. And I let's just take Nextel out of it. Because Suge showed the walkie-talkie that they had. Those walkie-talkies go over a thousand miles, motherfucker. What are you talking about? That was stupid, nigga. You keep telling on yourself. There was no walkie-talkies in the 90s that went 300 feet, nigga. You ain't never been in the military. You tell me a nigga that got a company worth over $100 million can't afford a walkie-talkie? A hundred walkie-talkies that go over 300 miles. Reggie, you got to be fucking stupid to sit there and tell your dumbass audience that there wasn't a walkie-talkie in the 90s that went over 300 miles. Like, you ain't never heard of the U.S. Army, Marines, Air Force, fucking Coast Guard. Are you stupid? Just, 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 just for the sake of showing y'all, now nah, I got a new Instagram. I got a new Instagram. Real choke, no joke. The other one is dead. They, they, yeah, they blocked me out. Yeah, they, they cut that other Instagram off. Yeah, and I'm saying too much truth. That's why they cut it off. <laughs> um, Damn, I just, what was it? I give me a pull up. Oh, the walkie talk. Let me show y'all these, look. Look. 
these right here, I just, just to show y'all, right? Look, all these joints right here go over a thousand miles, and these are from the 90s. Are there long distance walkie talkies, right? Let me show this one. For another video, this is too easy, all right? Keep Jane. So this radio here is the Zygo X5105. It's HF and 6 QRP transceiver. I picked it up a while back from the Foxton Amateur Radio Rally. Now, I've had a few problems with this, trying to get it to update. I did the update, and I couldn't get it to update. Four hours playing about a bit, so those who saw my community posts and those who also saw me on Twitter, you saw me moaning about this radio, how can you get to update? Took it down to the Cube's house, and uh, he couldn't get to update either. Turns out it was a cable issue, so he stripped there. Yes, WR, it's very high, it's at two. Now, the bar graph at the top there was going up and down like crazy, like you're on sideband, means actually on FM. So let's swap the antennas over. Audio, audio, check, 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 audio. Audio, check, 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 check. And nothing's really happening on sideband. Again, that was spluttering audio. So despite the audio issues. Although he said the audio was spluttering, and I found out later it was spluttering, but now we're developing the antenna file. I can barely understand, homie. So I, I can't, I don't know what the hell he said. But you got. You got right here, right? What Reggie's saying is dumb, bro. Like, walkie-talkies can't go over 300 miles. Look, can a walkie-talkie reach 1,000 miles? With the help of the existing 3G, 4G, 5G network, the long range walkie talkie and two way radio can reach more than a thousand miles. Let me see some. Let's see, 90s walkie talkie. That goes over a thousand miles. Look. They had them. Vintage. They had them. They had them. Where, where is that? Wait, you know what? What episode was that where Suge showed the walkie talkie? Let me see. Which one was it? Was it? I think it was the last one, right? I will show you the exact brand. But Reggie is full of shit, bro. Where's the walkie talkie? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. 
Let me see. Oh, here you go. This thing is so full of shit. And where the fuck is that walkie talkie at? It's a specific brand they had. Fuck is that walkie talking? I know they sh he showed the picture of it. The exact brand. I ain't gonna I ain't waste no time looking for it. I gotta uh, call Dave and ask him which episode it was in. Do any of y'all remember which episode that was in where they showed that, that walkie talkie? Find that shit. It wasn't the next tell church. Shug showed the uh the 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 one that they had because he's trying to tell everybody. Nah, it wasn't no next tell. It was uh, these other uh walkie talkies that he had bought that go long range. So it is a fact that the, the joint uh can reach long distance. But the fact that this nigga is, is sitting there trying to lie with this bullshit and say, oh, man, what walkie talkie could go that far? Ain't nothing could go that far. Bro, like, if, if you've been in the military you or you know somebody in the military, you got to know that these niggas in the military is not using no motherfucking cell phones and shit in the military. And 300 miles in the military ain't shit. When you in Afghanistan and, and Iraq and Pakistan and all these things, y'all think they call each other on the phone? Like, come on, man. I, I'm going I'm to find that, that joint, and I'm, I'm going to post it later. But in, in the 90s, you had Kenwood. You had Uniden, you had Rapid Radios. All of those went over a thousand, thousand miles, bro. Yeah, 
Yeah, we seen the radio on show car too. But you got to know these fucking radios got channels. I know that from working in in the business, having to have a radio for during certain shit. So everybody's on a different channel. Everybody's not on the same channel. And then the nigga goes and he tries to make up fucking, yo, did y'all see this nigga try to say, oh, like Warren G and Snoop don't know what the fuck happened at Warren G's house. He's talking about, oh, man, you know, the, 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 the security guards, the Kevin and uh, what's their names? Kenny and Marcus. Yeah, Kenny and Marcus. They, you know, Warren G don't know what he was hearing because, you know, he could have been listening to Kenny and Marcus radio. They could have had a radio because they was doing security. Nigga, he says Snoop had the radio. You wasn't even that kid at fucking Warren G's house. How are you making a scenario up? How are you making a scenario up at Warren G's house? This nigga say, oh, man, they probably wasn't, you know, that that probably was the security radios, and they probably was listening, and they probably, oh, motherfucker, we heard what Warren G said. Warren G ain't making, he didn't, what are you doing, Reggie? How are you correcting Warren G's story in Warren G's house? That you was not there. You was in Vegas. How the fuck you know what was going on in Warren G's house? Yo, please get off my fucking page talking about West Coast politics, stupid ass nigga. Where, where the fuck is Biggie from? Do you tell Wack to stop talking about New York niggas? Do you tell Wack to stay out of East Coast politics? Get the fuck off my page with that dumb shit. West Coast politics. And Wack up here talking about everybody on the fucking East Coast every day. Fuck out here. Tupac is from New York, nigga. Don't tell me about no East Coast politics. Tupac is from New York and Baltimore. I understand he came and took over the West Coast. Don't be mad a New York nigga took over the West Coast. It ain't West Coast politics. Tupac is from New York, nigga. He's from Baltimore, nigga. Get off my page with the dumb shit. He came and took over the West Coast. He's from New York. Don't tell me about no West Coast politics. There's a New York thing. Then you're going to say, yo, maybe, you know, Warren G, you know, maybe, you know, the security, security probably called Snoop and was telling them what was going on in Vegas. No, 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 nigga. That's not what Warren G said. That is not what Warren G said, motherfucker. No, it's not. No, it's not. Warren G ain't slow. Warren G ain't no liar. He ain't you, Reggie. Why, why are you going against Warren G's story? Why are you now trying to say, oh, Snoop and them heard that over Kenny and Marcus walkie-talkie. Why would Kenny and Marcus need a walkie-talkie? They wasn't in Vegas. You keep digging a deeper hole for yourself, brother. They told me, yo, we, we could have called Kenny and Marcus and told them what happened. Reggie, Warren G said they was hearing what was going on while it was happening. They could hear the commotion, everything that was happening going on with Tupac. Then they got the call later on the phone. 
They heard all this shit over the walkie-talkie, he said, motherfucker. Stop playing stupid. Stop changing the narrative. Why you keep changing the stories to the places you was not there? Why you know so much about the fight and you was not there? Why you know so much about the shooting you was not there? Why you know what happened in Warren G House and you was not there? You find yourself blocked. That's because you come in here promoting other people's shit, other people's channels. I don't give a fuck what nobody else is doing. If you got blocked, you got that's why you're getting blocked. Then the nigga goes and, and, and then he says, well, shoot, talking about why Snoop didn't let uh, corrupted dads and them go. Well, that's simple because him and Tupac just got into a fight. Well, then Reggie, wouldn't that be motive for Snoop? If Snoop told them not to go because him and Tupac just got into a fight, and do Tupac get shot? Wouldn't that seem like Snoop had motive? I'm not saying he did. He did anything. I'm just saying. If you're saying, you, out your mouth, that Snoop and them didn't go to Vegas because him and Tupac had a fight, what the fuck is he listening to for on the walkie-talkie then? Why he tells niggas not to go and then something happened? Why didn't you mention Nate Dog? Reggie? Wouldn't that be motive, Reggie? If should, I mean, if Snoop told all his niggas not to go and something happened, and he got a walkie talkie. Why are you defending Snoop? Reggie, if you don't have a clue to fuck what happened, how can you say you know for 100% fact Snoop ain't have nothing to do with it? How can you say that? I'm not saying he had anything to do with it, but how do you know for a fact that he did not have nothing to do with it? And Suge is just saying this because he's mad at Sharitha. So why would Suge bring up Snoop if because he, he's mad at Sharitha? Episode 10 is the walkie-talkie. Hold on. So strange, I don't even see 10.
Where the fuck is Tim? Oh, you know what? Tim might be the one that RJ Bond flagged him for, and they had to take it down. Damn, I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Damn, RJ. Yeah, that's what episode 10 is missing. Yeah, that's the one that RJ flagged him. And then he says, yeah, and DPG, you know, they was very clickish and they was on they fuck death row shit. So if you say Tupac and, and Big, I mean, Snoop had a fight. Uh, Dog Pound was on they clickish shit and on they fuck death row shit. Ain't that motive, Reggie? And then I don't think they was on they fuck death row shit. I don't think they was on they fuck Tupac and Shug shit. Or fuck them bloods shit. Because once Tupac is dead and Shug is in jail, Dog Pound and Snoop is still fucking with death row. They fucking with you. You forgot? They still fucking with you. And they still fucking with Orlando and Big Dre when Sugar's in jail with the hard white compilation. So they was it was in fuck death row. It was fuck Suge and fuck Tupac. It wasn't fuck death row. Because remember, Dad said he was like the president. You was running shit. Corrupt was still over there. Snoop was at the dog father until he went and left and went to No Limit. So what are you talking about, Reggie? You the one said Tupac when they was on their way back to uh, Cali after the MTV in incident that Tupac was going to have the outlaws rush Snoop. So what the fuck you think Snoop was going to do? Wait for that to happen? You said it. Tupac was going to have the outlaws rush Snoop. So you saying Snoop ain't have motive knowing that, that when they got back to California, next time he see the outlaws, they was going to rush him? You said that shit. That's not motive, Reggie? And they didn't show up to the fight? And then you're going to say, I believe, man, that Tupac and, and, and Snoop, they would have made up eventually. Yeah, so would have fucking Biggie and Tupac too, nigga. Big and Pac was already speaking before they both got killed. Tell me you don't know about that. And you keep saying Snoop was at the hospital. Snoop was at the hospital. Suge lying. So, Reggie, prove it. Snoop was one of the second biggest artists in the world at that time. If not, just as equally as big as Tupac. Pull up the footage of Snoop at the hospital, Reggie. All those people there out the hospital, all the news cameras at the hospital, Pull up Snoop at the hospital, Reggie. That's all you got to do. It ain't going to be hard to find. He was one of the biggest artists in the world. If Tupac was in the hospital and Snoop showed up to the hospital, find it, Reggie. It won't be hard to find. I bet y'all can find Suge at the hospital. All y'all got to do is find, if y'all say Snoop went to the hospital, Find it. It ain't gonna be hard. 
Every news media outlet was out at that hospital. Fine footage of Snoop walking outside. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere. If he was there, I'm not saying he wasn't, but if he, if he was there, prove it. It's only 30 years later. Dexter, I ain't listening to you at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Somebody's full of shit. And it ain't me. Y'all better go check some diapers. Because it ain't me. Choke no joke. I'll catch y'all in the morning. Oh, yeah. Do remember, y'all, my new Instagram is Real Choke No Joke. Real Choke No Joke. All right? Choke No Joke is the cash app. I appreciate all the donations. All right? I'm out. I'll catch y'all in the morning, man. One love. My man had to come through and make sure it went through. Y'all niggas is in trouble. Hit that like, hit that subscribe before you go. Choke no joke. I ain't no joke to mixtape. We here now. You already know. Let's go. Choke chillin', gotta wait for them billin'. Ain't shit really changed though, I'm still that villain. I'm making money with rhyme, fuck black on black crime. Beef and money don't mix, like Muslims and swine. I'm talking milk, penicillin', y'all be illin'. Y'all be thinkin' y'all killers, with y'all school fits grillin'. Kick that bullshit to me, y'all be wet though like Bruce Lee and Brandon and Hearst on the highway to heaven. Man, you making mad threats and stuck in one section. I'm OBP like Naughty. Make a connection, talking under your breath, get you something you don't need. Two fully loaded max, filled up with heat. Nigga, you sweeter than 30 days for a body. Pop shit to these niggas, see me walk by me. But I ain't looking for no beef, I don't eat bologna. But I bring a whole cow, if you run up on me, shiesty. Try me and hype me, to peel your wig back, like 10 cent icy. Bring it, stop bluffing, I got you threats, they mean nothing I respond like Bond, I come through, I'm bombing Playing bodegas, flipping Montega You tan in the Jacks, I tan in Jamaica Vega, wouldn't bust if he raped ya Your chick got blazed up, hit it like Jada Why you blew up a pager, had a brief like Vader Your star at war with the lightsaber, I'm here to lyrically tear you red, nigga, you a spear. I jack you up, now you out of here. Throw me on the 600, now fuck your nigga humming. Blowing down a five with a bad bitch blunted. I take it there. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it with no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Have y'all niggas feeling it like Jay Z? Uh, no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Bronx King like the L O R D F I N E double S C. Uh. And that bullshit y'all do, y'all niggas don't stress me. Oh yeah, and you already know, eating war what it is. Uh. Choke no joke, I ain't no joke. The mixtape, we here now.
stay the hell. Don't follow those cats. Niggas that be on the gram. Tell Paul what would they do it? <laughs> choke no choke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke no joke. Let's go. You already know. Make a low, let's go. My aim was enlightened. Drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous. I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game you got school. Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves. Yeah. I'm paranoid and preaching, you was sleeping. Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing. Learn from mistake, no sure I got cake. Impress a nigga to rob me, bitch still my fate. Get knocked by the fence, lay up four by eight. Ass so busy flossing, ain't thinking about Jake. Loose, yapping, they wiretapping. Video taping, your ways in action. Front like Tom's hard, two door garage. Ice like Liberage, with no damn job. Without a reasonable doubt, you think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry. He got a job, B. You shining on doctors with four degrees. Laughing because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. We not dolo for cash, you go solo Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack No niggas dust that I wouldn't flip like that What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit, struggling, give you the kicks Used to stick for gooses Warm when we pump deuces Break night in the jacks, trying to see millions like Brewster You don't act like you used to, I'm the dude When niggas was friends, you like, no joke, no joke I wet you like McLean for those who claim to be pain. The game of death, that's what you get when got game. Ill with automatics, we're never static. You carry that niggas, put one in your cabbage. Fear, don't have it, you fill me with laughter. In OG and C, then I'm original gun clapper. Like Dan Gadapper, see a mill be Casper. Like Dre the doctor, the map for master. Say DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. With your pockets, cop the ice locket. Yeah. She's somewhere in Houston, you blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait, through the line she caught it. Gave her all that loot, but she couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all yeah. feeling hell. Yeah. Blue puff in your face, daddy, all about Benjamin. Remember me, I'm your friend, say the end. Like Chucky, used to slay bitches like Buffy. Thinking why they cuff me, think of the luxuries you had. And it's up with other willies you brag. Push the big bends with 20 year trim. Went in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class glisten. Knew the rules of the game, you played yourself on position. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is L. Yo, son, yo, son, yo, so hold on, son, it's me, yo, I see, you ain't noticed me, yo, I see, all these man. diamonds and stuff, yo, how can I, uh, uh, choke, no joke, you already know, <laughs> y'all know I love that cooch, you know who this is, I love that cooch, let's uh -huh. Uh, yeah, it's an A thing. Clean, cool. Let's go. Yo, what's up? My nuts when I wake up. Got more than wood, and I just bust one. In my hog and knee, I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets, and she wanted to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, our water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down.
down for more love but change the sheet she said please i want more next thing i know matches dripping the floor from her juices oral had me stone had a corinne and medusa in one and when i look in her eyes between her thighs i tell you no lie ain't shit won't buy i rob and take it for me to taste it red lobster pussy biscuit freshly baked Ugh. Eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. My nuts when I wake up, got more than wood and I just bust one in mahogany. I'm Ron Osley between the sheets and she want to ski and just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Corinne and Medusa in one. And when I look in the eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. Choke, no choke. You know what it is. Let's go. Let's go. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to these fakes and these frauds. They don't own cars with Lamborghini doors. When high show cut, it's back to the store. I was born in the Jacks and this shit was hell. The place where I saw soldiers fall. Some simply for nothing at all. Some cause they live on the other side of the wall. Now this might sound crazy, love what the hood made me. Poverty made me far from lazy. This ain't the place you wanna raise your babies. Young girls out here thinking they lazy. Snow's powdered white, they brain all hazy. Ask them what they wanna be, they look at you crazy. These young cats out here looking all angry. I was just like them, sometimes the music made me. Act other than myself, no influence lately. Cause behind the scenes, they not living greatly. And I found out that most of these cats. Never so jacked or the penitentiary. Let's go. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to the face in the floor. They don't own cars and live in the door. The hype you cut is back in the store. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to the face in the floor. They don't own cars and live in the door. The hype you cut is back in the store. They not selling drugs. They really not thugs. They was, where are the slugs? Do you see them when you cop your drugs? Pulling up with S to be in the front? Nah, it's not what they got, it's what they want. In the jungle, we all on the hunt. It's chemicals.